Proceedings at the UN Security Council were dominated by the news of explosions on board two tankers in the Gulf of Oman. The session was scheduled to discuss cooperation between the League of Arab States and the UN, but most speakers reacted to events in the Gulf, including the UN Secretary General. Facts must be established and responsibilities clarified. And if there is something the world cannot afford, is a major confrontation in the Gulf region. A thinly veiled accusation of responsibility was made by the Arab League Secretary General. Some parties in the region are trying to instigate fires in our region, and we have to be aware of that. The Russian ambassador insisted that there is a conscious strategy to undermine diplomatic moves aimed at reducing tension in the Gulf. There is a need to come together to achieve one of the most important goals before us today, launching regional dialogue aimed at establishing a security architecture in the Persian Gulf where currently, according to our view, tensions are artificially fueled and inflamed around Iran. A view rejected at the U.S. State Department where Iran was directly accused of responsibility for the attacks. This assessment is based on intelligence, the weapons used, the level of expertise needed to execute the operation, recent similar Iranian attacks on shipping, and the fact that no proxy group operating in the area has the resources and proficiency to act with such a high degree of sophistication. The acting U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations was asked by the Secretary of State to call for an unscheduled meeting of the Security Council. It's not just the latest attacks that were in discussion behind closed doors. The overarching question is whether all parties to the long-standing dispute with Iran are sincere in their publicly stated preference for a peaceful diplomatic resolution. Iran rejects the U.S. accusation that attacks on shipping lanes are part of its wider strategy in a regional power struggle. If so, then the question remains, who is responsible? Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, United Nations.